first of all, it's important to know that the ice cap cycles. It's always growing or shrinking because during the winter, as you can imagine, it's really cold up north. The ice cap is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And usually somewhere is around the end of March, it starts to shrink as the summer melting begins. And it melts all the way until about the middle of September, towards the end of September, perhaps. And then it starts to grow again all winter. So it's an annual cycle that's been going on forever. All of these measurements are minimum measurements from September. Well, right here, if you look very closely, there's a little purple line that represents the size of the ice on average from 1979 to 2000. But you can see we've already lost a lot of ice here when we set the record in 2005. But in 2007, just two years later, we didn't just shave a little bit off the old record. We blew the old record away because the ice here is 1.2 million square kilometers less than the ice here. 1.2 million square kilometers. I mean, it's a number that's really hard to imagine. But think of it this way. 16 times the size of New Brunswick. 16 times the size of New Brunswick. Less ice in 2007 than there was in 2005. Now, it's easy for us to then say, why does that matter? It's cold. It's far away. Nobody lives there. Why does that ice matter? That ice matters because ice has a really important characteristic to it. And it's a principle we use all the time in our everyday lives. Because ice absorbs heat when it melts. And we use ice cubes in our drinks because we know that as long as we've got a, an ice cube in our drink, on the hottest day of July, the drink will still be cold because the ice is absorbing all the heat. But we also know that once the ice cube is gone, the temperature of the drink starts to spike, right? In the big picture of things, the polar ice cap is like the ice cube in our drink. And in the big picture, the drink, of course, is the world's oceans. It's very important for us to have ice up north. Some people refer to it as the world's air conditioner. And it's a